Okay, here we're gonna check. This has been three days, and we're gonna check to see if the bees have uh, put honey and drawn some comb in this first super. And then if there is, we're gonna put the queen excluder underneath here. Because then the, the bees will go through the queen excluder, being that there's already some nectar and comb made up in, in some of the frames. So um, I don't know what we're gonna find yet, but we're gonna see. If we look at the entrance here, the bees are very busy. We've been having a really good nectar flow. A lot of my hives have four full supers on them already. So it's been really dry. We've been in a big drought, but you, a lot of times you'll get more nectar in times of a drought. But we're at a point, a breaking point here where things are starting to get crispy. And if it gets too far, I'm afraid the nectar flow will just end. So let's, uh, we're gonna go in this hive here then and see how these are doing. I'm going to light my smoker. So I've been I'm pretty impressed by how much nectar we have been getting in here. And we'll see if we're surprised by how many how many frames here that they've done. If they've done any at all. We don't know. It's the, the story that you never know the ending with. So check the other hive as soon as we're done with this one but okay so we have our inner cover and our inner cover and our, uh, our queen excluder right here so here the bees have not even moved up they have done nothing with this so that is the case. They have done nothing on these frames. So we're not going to change anything. We're going to let's look let's look at the bees underneath here. So if we look at the frames, you can see all of the the new white comb. That's right here. They have been eating the pollen patty, the one pollen patty has gone unless it's stuck to the bottom of this, but, and it is, yeah. So they've been still eating it. So that's pretty much, their, they've done a good job of filling up those top frames there, but they still have not moved up. So in this case, what we're gonna do is nothing. We're gonna put it right back the way it was. And we will check this again in another week next week to see if uh, if they're doing anything up in these frames yet but nothing to report I was I guess I'm a little disappointed I thought they'd be further along but but it's one thing you never know about is you never know Today was Saturday, so we're gonna I'll probably come back and check these again next Wednesday just to see uh, see if anything has changed now. We're supposed to get rain tomorrow and hopefully that rain will will get us uh, get the nectar flow going even better. But you can see the yellow flowers here. that's bird's foot trefoil that's blooming right here. Um, it's a legume. Bees get a lot of nectar for it. I see it blooming everywhere. So, well, let's go check the other hive and see if they've done anything different with that one. Okay, we can come around here and we'll look at these. Okay, got a lot of activity at the door here. They're using all their boxes here. So that's a good sign. These hives, all the hives are busy. Got a lot of supers on these colonies here. They're all working on them, you know. So, we put the camera back up here and we will go in to see what's happened now. So this one, we've added a third deep to this box and we're feeding it still. Don't know what they're doing. Remember, if we, remember I put in a cap and ladder feeder 
and uh, whether or not they've eaten that, I don't know. So here we, in, in this box here, I can see the, I see the uh, syrup level. Looks to be about right here, so they've taken down some of it. Hard to say. I don't recall how much was in there to begin with, to be honest with you. I don't know if I filled it up or not. So at any rate, let's uh, move this off of here and uh, see what they've done with this third box at all, if anything. Let me, uh, I better light a smoker. my pellet probably it only last a few minutes but it's very convenient because they almost always work all right I'm not going to turn this pail over because we don't want to lose the lose the uh, vacuum Okay, so in here they are working on some frames. If I can pull a frame out, they're really snug. I can see they've eaten a lot of that syrup out of that frame feeder. So we put this in on, it's only been three days now that we put this in on Wednesday. So if we look at this frame here, they start to do something there. They are working on this one here, and uh, looks like it's just nectar, a little bit of nectar, not a lot, but a little bit. Same thing here, I don't see any eggs, just nectar. So they are building it out, that's all, a lot of nectar there. Trying to get a count on the number of frames they're working on. They just started on this side and they got something going there. So and then I see some on this. So they're working on it. That's all looking good. So it's only been three days. And they are making good inroads into that. I think it'll be uh, um, so it looks at one, two, three, four. About four good frames they're working on so far. So, which is, uh, <clears throat> for just three days, that's a good start. So we'll check this again next Wednesday also, just to see how we're doing. And uh, I think we will, uh, I'm going to fill this feeder up again. And uh, ho so hopefully by uh, Wednesday, we'll, we'll, they we'll, should be a lot farther with this. So with that, I'm going to end the video and... Uh, uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully next Wednesday I got something different to report. Thanks. See you. Bye.